So where do we go from here? Well, Janka Ertl is from the American public policy think tank, the German Marshall Fund. Welcome to DW. Uh, what's your take on uh, the last two days' events? Well, the Singapore meeting in, in June last year was quite an easy score. It was a diplomatic coup of some sort, and it did They gain. just had to show up. It was just good, you know? It just worked really well. But this time around, it was different because he had to deliver actually something and realize that politics is actually quite complicated sometimes. And so I think this time around, what we have been seeing is um, that this, this, probably this meeting shouldn't have happened at this point in time because no preliminary decisions had been made, no process had really been agreed on, and just by showing up, Trump could just not fix it. Right, so when you, when you look at this and, and, and listening to, to our reports and elsewhere, Mr. Trump's detractors see this as a failure. His supporters as just part of a, a longer process. How do you see it? Well, one is, it's not a good time to quote Theresa May these days, but um, I think, you know, <laughs> the whole question of no deal is better than a bad deal was raised many times here. Uh, and I think in this time around, just as with Brexit, uh, it's the same thing. A small deal would have been better than no deal at all, because it would have um, initiated another process, a better process. At least a small deal would have been a better win for Donald Trump, who had to walk away from this without anything, basically with nothing to show for. And we still only know half of the story here because we haven't heard the North Korean side. We still have to wait until North Korean media puts out their reporting, until we find how they actually read this and what's their part and why they think they walked away from the meeting, why they think this ended. But that's not the end of it, is it, surely? This is not the end of it, but I think this is... It's going to be hard to keep up the pressure and it's going to be hard to keep up the momentum also with all the other things that are going on domestically for Donald Trump. So I think this is going to be hard, especially if you look at to, that he has another uh, negotiation going on with the Chinese government at the moment, trying to lock in a major trade deal. Um, you know, it's one thing to say he's willing to walk away from a deal if it's not a good deal, but it can also be interpreted as he cannot cut a deal. And doing that twice in one month might not be such a good sign to his um, own constituency at home. Uh, and, and, and briefly then, this... If we are to get a deal in the future, it's going to, it looks like it's going to take both sides to give some ground. Do you see that happening? Both sides have already given a little bit. Uh, there were the prisoner of war remains that were um, brought back to the United States. The, um, the, the military exercises have been halted. So there was some give and take already, and there will have to be more. The question is sequencing. Do you give up? Does North Korea give up its nuclear weapons before sanctions are relieved, or does it work the other way around? And there seems to be some misunderstanding about that at the moment in the current process, because North Korea has never demanded all sanctions relief immediately. So the question is, what was it that they demanded that was so out of the picture? Well, I'm sure we'll speak on this again. Uh, for now, though, Janka Ertl, uh, Ertl from the German Marshall Fund, thank you. Thank you.